Hi, my name is Sarah Court, and I want to talk to you guys today about something that I think, I hope, uh, is going to be a craze, meaning it has come as a craze and it's going to depart eventually, uh, the same way that fat free cookies <laughs> were a craze, right? And then they went away. Thank goodness. And the thing that I want to talk to you about today is this idea that is very uh, popular and, and sort of prevalent in the health and wellness world that you have toxins floating around in your body and the way to get rid of these toxins is with a juice cleanse. It's come to be sort of this, this nebulous, fuzzy, pseudo -y word that's also kind of scary sounding. Right? You, don't want to, you don't want toxins in your body, that sounds terrible. So it's a very easy way for uh, people to be convinced that they need to get rid of toxins. And this idea of the juice cleanse as something that is going to, to do that for you um, is, is incorrect. I'm just going to say it. It's not true. It's a lie. Uh, and here's why. And let me, let me actually start by saying, there's nothing wrong with juice. So before people start getting all like commenty immediately about how they love juice and juice saved their life and you know, I agree, juice can be fantastic and really good combination of nutrients that maybe you wouldn't otherwise be getting into your diet. What I disagree with and what I take immense um, offense at is the idea that you, it's going to you know, clean out your body if you restrict your diet for you know three or five or ten days and only drink juice. Uh, and this is why this is a problem. Your body needs a whole rainbow of building blocks with which to make up the cells that are you. You are constantly regenerating. Old cells are breaking down, new cells are being built. And to do that you need material. And that material comes in four categories. The first category is amino acids, which is the smaller building block of what we call proteins. Amino acids uh, build into all sorts of different kinds of proteins in your body, and those proteins are used for the structure of your cell. They're used for um, some enzymes, which speed up the reactions going on in your body, which you want. Um, some, some proteins are part of your immune system, so they're varied and important. The second category is carbohydrates, and not just carbohydrates the way that we think about it, like you know bread and pasta, stuff like that, but vegetables are carbohydrates, fruit is carbohydrate, right? There's all different forms. The baseline is that glucose, which is the sort of very, very smallest building block of carbohydrate, is what converts in your body into something called ATP. ATP is what you need to drive the engine of you. It is the basic source of energy, and you can get super nerdy and go read up about electron transport chains and the Krebs cycle if you really want to know more. There's a lot. There's a lot of chemistry. Um, the third category is fatty acids, or you know, that comes in the form of fats. Uh, again, multi-use in your body. One of the most basic uses is it actually makes the walls of the cells of your body. And the last category is something called nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are the building blocks of RNA and DNA. And uh, if you are eating uh, whole foods, plants and animals, they have a bountiful supply of, of nucleic acids in them. So that category doesn't really get mentioned much because it's sort of assumed that you are eating those things and, and that you are uh, ingesting. Uh, the problem that happens when you go on a severely restricted diet, which is what a juice cleanse is, is that not only your metabolism, but every function in your body slows way the heck down. You are really, in, some, in, a, in the most basic sense, you're creating a situation of stress and emergency for your body. It's a starvation. It's a famine. And so your body's like, whoa, we got we to gotta slow everything down here because there's not enough coming in to, to power the engine of what we're trying to, of just, you know, basic daily function. Um, and the thing is, that basic daily function includes filtering. It includes detoxing, right? You have a liver, you have kidneys, you have uh, GI tract, you have a lymphatic system. They are all currently, right now, in you as you're watching this and me as I'm speaking, doing a really good job of filtering out things that my body does not want, and I eliminate it as, as waste. If I do not supply my 
current filtering system with the nutrients that it needs in order to do its job, I'm effectively making it harder for my body to detoxify itself. I'm not making it easier. I understand the, the desire to, to live as healthily as you can. The juice cleanse phenomenon, unfortunately, and it's very much, uh, it's targeted at women. And I think it's a, a way to, very dramatic sigh from my dog. I think it's a way to wrap a diet in sort of health lingo. Uh, and and, and it, it's just very, um, you know, if you speak to any nutritionist or uh, dietitian or scientist or biologist, they're going to have the same answer that I have been giving you. If you're thinking about things like, you know, environmental uh, concerns. Something like, for example, a really good example is BPAs. BPAs are bisphenol A. It's a, a component of some plastics. And what people started to find is that if they, you know, contained their food, if they wrapped their food in a plastic that contained BPA, and then they ate the food, their own levels inside their body of BPAs went up. And although there is currently no research that shows that this is, that the levels that we're being exposed to are bad, that doesn't mean that I want it in my body, right? I wasn't born with it in my body. I have to assume it's not supposed to be there. But so all you have to do though, to reduce the levels in your body is to simply stop having this uh, plastic in your environment. If you put your food in glass, if you put it in plastic that does not have BPAs in it. And studies have found that after a period of, not a long period of time, like a couple of weeks, the levels of BPAs in your system, in your body, in your blood, have gone down. The only way that would happen is if you were already detoxing. If detoxing was just something that's going on in the background. Because otherwise, just because you reduced your exposure, that's not necessarily going to change anything about the levels in your body already, right? It has to have been being filtered already. So what I suggest, what I recommend, if you are having sort of concerns around your diet is to take the 300 or 500 or thousand dollars that you might have spent on a juice cleanse and go see a registered dietitian or nutritionist, somebody who really knows, who has had to go to school and study science and biochemistry, not just somebody who put up a website and got a Vitamix, right? <laughs> and have them uh, work with you to figure out maybe there are types of foods in your diet that your body doesn't respond well to. Maybe you need to be off gluten. Maybe you need to be off dairy. Maybe you need to be off sugar, right? It just depends. Uh, but that, and then make incremental intelligent changes. Uh, in addition, move around a lot, yeah? Because that is the best possible way that you can help your body function at its best. Bodies are not made to be sedentary. Um, and then, you know, the, just have a good time. Sometimes you just want to have a cookie, and you should, <laughs> because it's, it's not all supposed to be kale and quinoa, right? Sometimes you're just supposed to have a good time. Uh, all right, thank you for listening, and uh, thank you to Brooke for giving me this opportunity to uh, voice my concerns about juice cleanses and you. <laughs>